Hey guys, it's Snobco Ryan, and welcome back to another episode of Wind Waker HD. Today, I'm in a weird recording situation, because it's actually um, 11.30 at night, and I'm not used to actually recording this late, so, yeah. But uh, in the last episode, we actually met uh, with Medley here. She found out that it was her destiny to become a sage of the Earth Temple, and, uh, what you say, Medley? But first, before I actually go to the uh, the Earth Temple, I actually thought I might do a little bit of errands, like do some errands rather. Um, I was thinking I could do some uh, heart piece hunting. So like, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's do it, you know? Also, what's this over here? Oh, I want arrows instead. Thanks. What is this? What do you have to offer, sir? Uh, wait here, Medley. Uh, I'll be back. Make sure that the, the boat is okay. And you have nothing, Beatley. I you don't have anything for me. I thought you were the the mask shop. Or the hidden shop, whatever it is. What's the matter? Don't tell me you've forgotten Temple's location. No, I haven't. I'm just doing other things. Thank you very much. Now, let's return to the adventure. Alright, let's go this way. And uh there are some heart pieces here I actually want to get. Um how many uh, did I collect okay, I think I need one more. Uh, joy pendant to get one thing to get this like the one thing. I'll, I'll show you later. Ah, oh, dang it. I missed it. Whatever. That's not what this quest is about Link or me rather. Wait, am I Link? No, I'm not. I remember wanting to be Link so much when I was younger. I think that was for anybody that played Zelda when they were a kid. Like they wanted to be Link, go on adventures like this and defeat evil. Huh. That's, that's a pull. Where is the first one? Oh yeah, I, I remember where I was gonna go first. I was gonna go into here, into the, into the uh, the school. I don't think I showed you guys this place, but I, I just remember having so much fun when I was younger, like pretending and whatnot. But let's talk to this lady. Welcome to Miss Mary's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? No, I'm not a student. Thank you very much. I, I I'm, I, I don't, I need, I don't, I don't need schooling. Thank you. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall? 20 years. Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have rather a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Can you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense of him for me? Please, young man, for me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. They're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. But I'm older than them. Good luck, young man. But miss, I'm older than them. If, as you can see, I'm taller than... I'm, I guess I haven't showed you guys the kids. But I look older, you know? As you can see, I, I'm like much taller than them. If anything, they should be like six years old. Half my age. Uh, at least that's what I think. There's no actual confirmation about Link's age in this, but whatever. Yeah! yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees, huh, do ya? Don't tell me about that annoying hag of a teacher, is it? Oh, it's that annoying hag of a teacher. You came here to give us a talking to because Miss Murray would ask you to, right? Well, she tells us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? I don't like this guy's attitude. I don't like this guy's attitude at all, okay. Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four, the killer bees. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? Hey, that's mean. But I tell you what, bud, if you challenge us to a competition and we'll talk about... We'll think about maybe listening to a little bit or whatever. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? I'll take you on. And I have to do a little bit of hide and seek, a la Majora's Mask. Okay, your funeral, bud. Uh, the 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 little little thrumble. I feel like I saw I, I should do for Ivan's voice from now on. Just bleh. nah. We're gonna go and hide somewhere. And if you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try and catch us. Easy as that, bud. We don't hide indoors or nothing. We blah blah blah. blah. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud. Ready? Go! Oh, so let's go for Ivan first. He's actually his location is actually pretty easy. He's just on top of that tree right there. Whoop! There we go. <laughs> his run animation is kind of funny looking though, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk to this guy here. Hey. Ah, this tricky kid. Whoa! His sick jukes. His sick jukes. Yeah. Yeah. Yar, you got me. 
I don't know why I said by like a pirate. Ah! Uh, ooh, nice. He looks pretty hopping mad though. He's like, Argh! Argh! I don't know what that voice or like that little thing there was. And I'm gonna try to not jump off the ledge. Let's go up here, and there is another kid over here hiding behind this bush. Right here. There's this person. I forgot what his name was. Alright, let's go get him. No, I don't want to speak to them. There we go. You're awesome. Thank you, kid. There's also this kid over here, not not Ivan. There's this kid behind uh, this grave here, actually. Or whatever this is, like a statue. Not a statue, but like a sign thing. But there's this kid. <laughs> Listen to what he says when he jumps. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I didn't break my legs. Good. There we go. Wow, you got me. There's also a kid up there. Can I do my sick maneuvers? Can I? Can I do sick maneuver? Ah, oh, I was so close. I actually want to do it this way. Hold on. Sorry for being, don't not going the conventional way. There we go. There's a kid here. Hey, kid. Yeah. Wow. Why do I have to mock everybody? In this game, like they're all their voices. There we go. Gonna snipe them. Ah, lame. Arg! I can't believe it. You found all four of us, and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we don't. We won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide and seek and skills, here, take this, bud. And I get a heart container, a new one. Boom. There we go. The eighth one. Uh, this is our favorite possession. But you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, and one more thing, we need you to apologize to Miss Mary for us, or Mari, or Mary. Or I don't, I, I don't know. All right, we're counting on you, bud. Okay, so we got that. That's the first thing I wanted to get. That was actually uh, 11 minutes. Ah, oh, what can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. And you did it, didn't you? You said you, uh, you said the delinquents. Ma'am. Ooh, nice. Thank you, ma'am. You gotta speak English, please. One more thing, don't tell anybody, dear. What do you uh, say? When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man, and your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Um, let's do this. Hold on. Is this okay, mommy? I didn't mean to do that, actually. Hold on. I need to talk to her. Th uh. Is this okay, mommy? Dang it, I, I need to go and get, uh, I think, one more of these in order to get something from her. It sounds like you apologize for, uh, to teach for us. Good old Miss Mary. And speaking of Bud, did you know it's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon? Boss, oh boss, maybe you should give her some kind of present or something. Don't be stupid, we're gonna kill her bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but Teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's did she into these days? what she call them, joy pendants? Really? Where, where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could just give them to give to. If we could just find some, we could give them to teach as a present, and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on top of some tree in town. Where was that? Maybe it's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? No, that's crazy talk. All right, that sparkling that you uh, that these kids are talking about is actually from this tree right up here. There we go. Yo, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Now these kids are here, and he thinks he's all cool just standing up there. <laughs> Look at him. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up there in that tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving it to her, uh, some, giving her a present. We were thinking of giving her a present. So it was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. We can't be going around giving presents to people. No way. That just don't fit the Killer Breeze's style. Come on, bud. Can't you give it to teach for us, can't you? And it's not like we could just ask anybody just to do it for us either. Neither, rather. It's gotta be someone reliable. Someone who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask, bud. Alright, the kids are just gonna return to their... their usual meet-up spot. But they completely disappear out of existence. Not really. They're just up here again. But let's talk to the teacher again. Yo, teach, what's up? You look like you could use some joy pendants. My dear, that's... <gasps> A joy pendant! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that, why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes. I will happily take a single one from you. No, I insist, only one. To uh, tell you the truth, I don't, I'd actually like about 20 of them, but that would only happen in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure you know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. You got some money again. 
And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Uh, and I need to get one more joy pendant. Ah, uh, I'm not sure where to get one though. Actually, I kind of do, but it's gonna be a little time consuming. There's also this uh, this lady here, but no, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, blah, 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 blah. yo, I have something to talk to you about. Yes, yes. If you're the young master who purchased my sale, unless with those funds I have been able to open my stall. I have to say that poor little stall is not a, an instant success. In fact, it's rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For, if I am a, to be fully honest, I only have one product. To put it another way, I think my stall would ra do much better if I could stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, that's what, that is what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money. It would be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. But dear me, I only had a young partner to help me out. A real go-getter, ayo. Hey you, come on, use your head, you can't stand around here like that. You're in my way, can't you move? Oops, that won't do, that won't do at all. I'm already, I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry, really am. Um, welcome you, sir. This is way to Windfall's outdoor shop, chock full of fun and happy products. But there is something weird about this lady. Well, this, this girl here. Um, I'm gonna come back here at night. Actually, I'm just gonna do this right now. Wait, I, I don't, I don't even have the song. Hold on. I, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm sorry. I need to learn a song from this guy up here first. Yo, dude, I have a wind waker. Hold on. Oh. Oh, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Huh. Oh dear, pardon me. Pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice a little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Can't see your face because of this leaf right here. Yeah, yeah. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magical dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm guy? Uh, in fact, I have a wind waker here. Uh, uh, cha, uh, uh, cha. That's it, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it, I can feel it, guy. Michael Jackson here. Bow! Yeah! Yeah! Bow! Yeah! Turn day into night. And I learned the song of passing. That's it, that's it. It's And it's perfect. I'm perfect. Now bring on the night. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Ooh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? It's because you don't have the magic of the Wind Waker. Okay. That, to be honest, that that's probably what you need to have. Okay. I'm sorry, but that's uh, that's kind of how things work around here. Okay. So <laughs> what I should do is actually use this song that I just learned to show you guys what I was talking about. It's like a little bit of a stealth section here with that girl over there at the stall. Um, she's uh, a little bit troublesome in the town because shh shh take off go away. So when I leave, she runs, and we have to kind of hide behind signs and whatnot. Who's that? <laughs> it's just a cat. I'm I'm a cat. Okay. Uh, okay. No, you don't see me, Miss. You don't see me. Ooh, can't even see her. Oh, she's right there. Oh, who's that? Just another cat. See you, kid. I see you going into that stall and stealing money from here, from this person. Nope. Y y you startled me. Oh, 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 what do you want? M my heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you that kind of creep who just walks around night at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. What do you think you are anyway? An ally of justice. A, a what? An ally of justice? I I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything, well, yet. Please let me go. I it was just an impulse, that's all. Just a bad idea. Why don't you say anything? This is mean you're mad at me. Could you at least listen to uh, the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, I owe you that much. 
Sure. I was the richest little Dubonte, or oh, I, I, debut, and I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that word, I'm sorry. In this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called For the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now every day, from morning to, until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So, as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just hug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the <laughs> the traffic, tragic events in my pitiful life? That's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason I uh, still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who is the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy re rich. rather. Maggie, of all people, makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Grr. Do you understand my plight? Very well. Then will you let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time to quit making still excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. To let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually, actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please, take this. Now you get a bottle! Woo! That's our second bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and uh, holding other things. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can you can say the cheesiest thing without ever blinking an eye. Hmph. So, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. And you, you can go back home. Well, no home, I'm sorry, but uh, that, was, that was very insensitive. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Maggie. Not Maggie, but uh, whatever your name was. But yeah, that's it for that. Hi, Medley, what's up? Just doing little adventures. I already know that. Uh, me first post, it was just talking about the, the joy pendant on top of the, the tree there. But uh, I'm actually gonna head over to a fairy island and I'm going to do some things. I'm gonna get some fairies. So I'll be back when I get that. <laughs>